Hillary, I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger, and the Pittsburgh Steelers as they take on Dak Prescott and the defending NFC East champion, the Dallas Cowboys. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion. It's all handed over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gunn, along with the man who has had to stick with me all season long, Charles Davis. And Charles, the anticipation, the hype, the media coverage, all in the rear view mirror now. We can finally get down to playing some football. Yeah, don't worry about that part. I'll ride or die with you anytime. <laughs> you know that. But here's the best thing about this. Everyone talks about trying to keep things normal as they approach for Super Bowl. There is no such thing as normal. The pageantry, the hype, all of that is more intense than anyone could ever imagine. What you're trying to do is embrace it in one way and make sure it doesn't totally knock you off your game. That's why the night before the big one, teams often switch hotels, try and give those guys that last chance to breathe a little bit before they go out and play. This is a guy who made a Pro Bowl in his second season, James Conner. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down now, it's Connor. Tyrone Crawford in on the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, if those at home were wondering if we were going to see some offense in this Super Bowl, I think your answer was right there. Incomplete, but they take a big shot early. Like the script, if they get the big play early, so much the better. But if nothing else, they send a message. They're going to be aggressive in this game. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. It'll be a 48-yard punt, five there on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dak Prescott heading out to lead the Dallas Cowboys, but it's been Zeke who's gotten most of the headlines. However, Dak's got a contract situation looming in his own right, Charles. He'll be a free agent at the end of the year. Jerry Jones has said that signing him is a priority, but they'd be comfortable playing the season. Well, they may be comfortable playing the season, but you've got a quarterback who needs to be signed for the future. And when you look at what's happened in the offseason and in their own division in Philadelphia with Carson Wentz getting his contract, he set the number now. And I would expect Dak to get something along the lines of what Carson Wentz got. Remember, he has not missed a start since he's come into the league. Talk about Dak Prescott. And worth noting, the Cowboys have won two-thirds of those starts and two NFC East titles in his three NFL seasons as well. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. They've got a third down and a yard to start things out. Try and run for it with Elliott. 
And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. For Zeke, what a first three years he's had in the NFL. Last year, his second rushing title, 1,434 yards. Not as many as 1,631 that he had as a rookie, but still his yards per game average was the best in the National Football League. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Got a man that's caught at the six yard line. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. Push him back. Now Prescott. This is caught, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. Here's Elliott. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. So that drive goes eight plays, and it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. the touchdown. Here's Marr to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves them back five. 
Still first down. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now, a potential fumble and snap that can get returned, a strip sack that can get returned, right? Any of those types of plays, that should be a deterrent to calling something that could get you in big trouble. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. show quite a spectacle but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53 this is fielded at the chalk of the 10 and a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30 yard line second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys they have the lead now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Here's Prescott. The tight end Jarwin with it out on the left side. Four yards the pick up, first down. When offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Now flags fly in, and one of the Cowboys looked like he got going a little early. So that'll back him up five. Still first down. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. And a nice run to get him past the original line of scrimmage. A gain of seven. It's second and eight now. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Out 
of the gun. Here's Prescott. Going up top. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Sean Davis with a pick. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Intended that time for Cooper. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and ten at their own 22. After the interception, here's Roethlisberger. And nearly picked off there, and it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. Oh, I can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now Austin. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Elliott. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Out now comes the Cowboys punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Come on, 
So big Ben and the Steelers now. Down 7-0. Just over a minute, 40 to play. And they have to have a touchdown to level this Super Bowl as they come up on first down. to that one first play of the drive good for 15 and a first down big ben has the knowledge certainly the weapons to pull this off we know he's done it many times in the past and that transmits go, go, go. itself to the rest of the offensive unit because these guys know that with big ben leading them they've got a lot of confidence they can get it done back to throw and the reception made by dante Moncrief. and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down now, but that clock rolling. They'll look to throw. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster complete. Eight more yards this time coming off back-to-back -back first down pickups. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Roethlisberger to throw. This one complete, right side to McDonald. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. A gain there of 30 big ones. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game, and for a second, I thought they had it right there. Well, looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval as a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. Ready? So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Malik Collins in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Roethlisberger got to get his guys to the line as quick as he can. Now it's Roethlisberger. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards it's third and very long throwing now is Roethlisberger his throw caught at about the five and he's able to get it down to the two yard line and the Dallas Cowboys will hoist the Lombardi trophy they are the kings of the NFL For the victors getting to hoist that Lombardi trophy, you know, we've talked to guys that have done it, and they say there's no better feeling in sports.